The most important idea is that a tech executive was a genius who designed and patented a key component of Wi-Fi routers in their 20s, creating and selling several companies and having a relationship with money. Ronald Reed was an American philanthropist investor and gas station attendant who was born in rural Montana. He was the first person in his family to graduate from high school and bought a two-bedroom house for 12000 at age 38. He died in 2014 at the age of 92. His life was about as low-key as it got to read stationary cars at a gas station for 25 years and sweep the floors at various ages. After his death, less than 4,000 of them had a soft skills are an important factor in financial success as they are often overlooked and undervalued. This book will discuss how a stepchild received $2 million and more than $6 millions to his local hospital and library and how he saved what he could and invested in blue chip stocks. The goal of this book is to convince readers that soft skills are more important than technical aspects of money and to help everyone make better financial decisions. Soft skills are a math-based field and are often taught as a way to apply them to many areas of life. The author's appreciation for the psychology of money is shaped by the 2008 financial crisis and the worst recession in 80 years. After the crisis, no one could explain what happened or why it happened, but engineers can determine the cause of a bridge collapse. The author learned that if a certain force is applied to a certain area, it is guided by laws, not finance. To understand why people go into business, one should study the history of greed, insecurity, and optimism, as well as the mathematics of expected future returns. This will help them to think about the emotions of their family and the consequences of financial crisis. John F. Kennedy was asked by a reporter what he experienced when running for President of the United States. He estimated that his personal experiences with money makeup may be 0.00001% of what has happened in the world. However, 80% of how the world works people from different generations raised by different parents who earned different incomes and held different values. Each person has its own unique experience about money and the world, and there are different opinions and values shared by different people. This is reflected in the fact that two people have different attitudes and approaches to money, and that those who grew up in poverty have different minds and views on the money market. The Great Depression of the 1930s was a great experience for many Americans, but it was not until Harvard that they gained a better understanding of the Depression. Frederick Lewis Allen wrote that the Depression had a lasting impact on millions of Americans and that no amount of studying or open-mindedness could recreate the power of fear and uncertainty. Michael Batnick argued that individual investors' willingness to bear risk was dependent on personal history, and economists were already mendier and more knowledgeable in 2006. The survey of consumer finances in the U.S. reveals that American people make investment decisions based on their experience with the economy. Bill Gross, a bond manager, admits that he would likely not be where he is today if he had been born a decade earlier or later. His career coincided with a generational collapse in interest rates, which gave bond prices a tailwind. This kind of thing affects what we think about those opportunities and how they are presented to us. The story of money, Gates, American, is a classic American story about two people separated by chance of their birth. It is about how the share market people make decisions based on what they see it is saying for money and how they spend money or invest in real world. This story is unique to the American people as they spend more money on lottery tickets with a chance of winning. Bill Gates was 13 when he met his classmate Polly Allen and he was obsessed with computers during one of their late night sessions. The story is a testament to the unique experiences of these two groups which shape their own unique experiences. Microsoft is a computer company that is now worth more than a trillion dollars a year. In 1968, 
There were roughly 303 million high school age people in the world, with 270,000 of them living in the Washington area. Allen, a teenager, had a vision for computers that even computers experts don't have, but instead had to rely on cash and foresight to buy a computer Bill Gates. Bill Gates and his friend Ken Evans had the same one in million chances, but instead experienced risk and became best friends in eighth grade. The most important details of the phrases Gates, Microsoft, Allen, and Kent are related to the story of Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Gates was a lawyer and Allen was skilled with computers, and they shared endless ambition. They were always scheming about what they would be doing five or six years in the future, and if they had kept working together, they would have been ambassadors and could have been a founding partner of Microsoft. However, they were all killed in a mountaineering accident, and the odds of being killed on a mountain in high school were roughly one in million. The story illustrates that when judging people's financial success, it is never as good or as bad as it seemed years ago. Rajat Gupta, born in Kolkata, was a successful businessman who became wealthy through his Goldman Sachs. He was a founding member of the United Nations and World Economic Forum and partnered with Bill Gates for philanthropic works. He achieved great things and became one of the best successful businessmen alive by 2008. However, it is impossible to measure the exact role of luck and successful outcomes in the real world. The Goldman was in crisis Warren backing and was ready to invest $5 billion in Goldman Sachs to help survive. However, when it was revealed that the bank was dialed into the Goldman board meeting, a hedge fund manager named Raj 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 Rajaratnam bought 175,000 shares of Goldman Sachs. The deal was so risky that it was not enough to keep up with the competition, and it became dangerous when it came to having more money, power, and money, as ambition increased faster than satisfaction. To catch up, the only way to catch up was to take greater and greater amounts of risk. Modern capitalism is a great source of wealth and envy, but it is also a source of social comparison. Consider a rookie baseball player who earns 500000 a year, but compares himself to a hedge fund manager who earns at least $770 million per year. The ceiling of social comparison is so high that it can lead to envy. The most important idea is that having enough is not too little, and that an insatiable appetite for more will push you to the point of regret. This can be seen in business and investing, where many will only stop reaching for more when they break and are forced to. Rajat Gupta, a convicted fraudster, told the New York Times that every dollar is worth reaching for regardless of consequence. Warren Buffett's story teaches us to not get too attached to one's reputation or accomplishments. He built a fortune of $84.5 billion from his childhood, but it has been unjustly destroyed by his actions. His story can still be seen today as a reminder to us of how big things can grow from a small change in conditions. Warren Buffett is the richest investor and not the greatest investor. Compounding effect is a key factor in his success. Microsoft founder Bill Gates criticized the new Gmail for offering one gigabytes of storage, which he wrote despite his currency with cutting-edge technologies. His mentality was anchored in the old paradigm of storage being a commodity that must be conserved. Despite this, he has been investing consistently for three quarters of a century and is now known for his success. Good investing is not about making good decisions, but rather not screwing up in reality. There are a million and millions of ways to become rich, but the only way to stay wealthy is through financial paranoia and paranoia. Jesse was the greatest trader of stock market, worth 100 million francs by 1929 and more than third of the stock market value was crashed in the October 1929 week. His wife, Myra Ilo, feared the worst when her husband returned home, as Wall Street speculators were spreading across her family. Despite this, Jesse was able to remain wealthy and confident in his stock market. 
He made a fortune of over $3 billion during the Great Depression, becoming one of the richest men in the world. This success was portrayed in an article published by the New York Times in 1929, which portrays a tragic ending for many. The most important idea is that Abraham Germanski of Mountain Vernon was asked by Scott Sandler, attorney of 225 Wildstone, to help find her husband, who is 50 years old and an East Side real estate operator who has invested heavily in stocks. The phrase Merricks is used to describe the fear of going out of business and the inability to rely on one strategy over the other. It is important to remember that yesterday's success can lead to tomorrow's good fortune, as it is key to money management and longevity. Buffett's investment returns were hard less hard than usual, but he was able to find the best stocks and managed investments through a public company. He also didn't panic and sold during the 14 recessions, and he survived survival by giving him longevity and longevity from age 10 to 89. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger were two of the wealthiest individuals in the 1970s. After the 1973 to 1974 downturn, Rick was levered with margin loans and bought his Berkshire stock at under $40. Charlie and Rick were both skilled at getting wealthy, but Rick had the added skill of staying wealthy. Compounding work wonders are a great way to find big returns and staying financially unbreakable. Cash is a key part of any bull market, but it should not be held back due to the risk of losing money. Planning is important, but few plans of a kind survive their first encounter with the real world. The most important part of every plan is to plan on the plan not going according to plan, as this will help ensure that investments are within the realm of reasonable. In the last 20 years, there have been a housing boom, a financial crisis, and job losses. A plan is only useful if it can survive reality and a future filled with unknowns. To maximize the potential of a plan, it must be flexible, optimistic about the future, and not contain room for error. Frugal budgeting, flexible thinking, and a loose timeline are all beneficial options for a successful plan as they increase the odds of success at a given level of risk. The higher the margin of safety, the smaller the edge needs to be to have a favorable outcome. The average person can lose half the synaptic connections they had in their brain at age 2 due to inefficient and redundant neural pathways clearing out, but the average 20-year-old is much smarter than the average 2-year-old. This suggests that something can gain over the long run while being a basket case in the short run, but it is not mutually exclusive. To prevent this, it is important to recognize that the normal path of progress economies and careers often follow a similar path growth. The story of Walt Disney's first studio went bankrupt in 1938 when his films were so expensive to produce and finance. He produced more than 400 cartoons, mostly short, and most of them were beloved by viewers. Snow White was a major competitor, and it earned $8 million in the first six months of 1938. Additionally, people may bypass admiring the speaker because they use their wealth as a benchmark for their own desire to be liked and admired. Therefore, it is important to learn how to seek kindness, humility, and empathy in order to gain more respect and admiration from people. The most important details of the phrases Porsche, spending money, money, and wealth are that wealth is not something to be judged by appearance or appearance, but rather by spending money. This wealth is seen in the form of cars not purchased, not worn the watch, and not being converted into the stuff we see. To become wealthy, one must not spend the money they have. Spending money on individual needs is the faster way to feel rich than spending lots of money on nice things. Money is the only thing that can be controlled, and those who don't think they can save can save. Building wealth can be done through income or investment returns, but it is uncertain whether an investing strategy will work and how long it will work. 
personal savings, frugality, finances conservation and efficiency are all part of the money equation that are more in the control and have a 100% chance of success. The value of wealth is relative to what is needed. Money is an important part of life and can be a source of income for many people, but it can be expensive and difficult to keep up with those with higher incomes. People with decent incomes save money for a variety of reasons, such as retirement, new house, cars, and medical emergencies. However, it is important to remember that tangible possessions can be forgotten, as it is hard to wrap around intangible benefits. Money can be more valuable and capable of increasing happiness than tangible things. It is becoming one of the most valuable currencies in the world and should be more rational and realistic when making financial decisions. Henry Markowitz won the Nobel Prize for the exploration of mathematics trade-off between risk and return. He described his portfolio in the 1950s and his initial portfolio was built with little regard for his own research. The most important details of the phrases money, reasonable investor, and rational thought are that rational thought is a drag for reasonable investors who love their technically flawed strategies and that surprise history is the study of change ironically used as a map of the future. The key to economics is that things change over time, and the most important factor in all things money is the stories people tell themselves and the preferences they have for goods and services. Money is often seen as a mental trick, where people overappreciating certain events can lead to overconfidence. However, this is not always the case, as few investors are prepared for an interest rate hike due to a lack of experience in the past. Additionally, people may be wrong about anchoring past outcomes, leading to dangerous things that could occur if they rely too hard on investment. The most important events in historical data are the large outliers, as they are the ones who make things happen in the economy and stock exchange. The Second World War was a major event in history, with 15 billion people born in the 19th and 20th centuries. If only seven of them had never existed, the global economy would be different, with 0.00004% of people responsible for the majority of the world's leadership. The role of surprises is difficult to predict, but it can be used as an estimate for the future worst-case scenario, as seen in the Fukushima nuclear reactor's failure in 2011. Past surprises are important as they provide us with a guide to future boundaries and can help us prepare for them. They are also important for scary events and big events, such as recessions and wars. History can be a misleading guide to the future of the economy and stock market, as it does not account for structural changes that are relevant to today's world. Personal financial advice and analysis on how Americans save to retirement today is not directly comparable to what only a generation ago. The Intelligent Investor is a classic book written by John Locke in his memoir The Intelligent Investor by Paul Graham. It was the first venture capital fund to be larger than the entire industry at the time. The book advocated for buying stocks to trade for less than network assets, and one of Graham's criteria instructs conservative investors to avoid stocks that are trading for more than 1.5 times book value. In each revised edition of the book, Graham discarded the formulas he presented in the previous edition and replaced them with new ones, declaring that those who did not work anymore were not work. Graham argued that no longer is an advocate of security analysis, but rather a change in competition and the shift from industrial sectors to technology sectors. His predictions are based on decades of data, but recent history is usually the best guide for the future. The relationship between greed and fear, as well as how people behave under stress, are important details to consider. History of money is useful for analyzing these trends, but it is not always an ongoing process. The most important details of the phrases plan, margin, error, 
time, and risk are that the most important part of every plan is planning on a plan not going according to plan, and that the margin of error is a conservative cover used by those who do not want to take a lot of risk or do not trust their views. Benjamin Graham's concept of margin of safety was discussed in an interview, and it was found that when analyzing other people's home improvement plans, most people believe project will be $25.50 over budget, but when it comes to their actual projects, two things keep us from the error. The idea that someone must know what the future holds driven by the comfortable feeling that just admitted the second is that you do so harm yourself by not taking actions that fully exploit a clear view of what the future is coming true, and the margin of error allows us to endure a range of potential. The most important details of the phrase's plan, margin, error, time, and risk are that it is important to take risk to move forward and protect yourself from potential losses. The margin of error can help you plan for all risks and protect against them by avoiding single points of failure. This can help ensure that you stay on one paycheck to fund short-term spending needs with no savings so that you are only one point of failure with money. The most important details of the phrase's plan, time, financial plans, future expenses are that long-term planning is essential to ensure the future is not too difficult to achieve. It is important to plan ahead and make smart decisions at every stage of life, as these decisions can have a profound influence on the lives of the people we are going to become and will shape our future. Long-term financial planning is hard to make without considering the changes that occur over time, as people's goals and desires may change. Middle-aged adults have worked hard to gain back and are often walking around with an illusion that their personal history has just come to an end. This can have a long-term impact on their financial plan, but it is important to avoid the extreme ends of financial planning. To make up for lost time, one should plan years or decades to grow this plan, not only for savings, but also for careers and relationships. Balance is key to avoiding future regrets and encouraging endurance aim at each stage of life. The most important details to consider when it comes to Social Security are moderate annual savings, moderate free time, and moderate commute time with family. To avoid extreme sides of the spectrum, it is important to accept the reality of changing our minds and stick to a plan. People who stay loyal to a certain field of study may be more likely to pursue a career despite the odds of picking a job when they are old enough to qualify for Social Security. It is also important to remember that the financial goals set when one is different should be abandoned rather than put on life support and dragged down, and that everything has a price, not all of which is the same price. The most important details of the phrase's time in this text are that it is difficult to maintain a long-term perspective when stocks collapse, as the price of success in investing is not immediately obvious, and it is important to make decisions that go ahead and avoid fines, traffic tickets, and IRS fines that are necessary to avoid future fines. This is because people are generally okay with paying fees, but they should be punished for their wrongdoings. The author also considers this fall to be a fine if the wealth of someone looking their wealth is declining. General Electric was the largest company in the world in 2004 worth one-third of a trillion dollars and had been the first or second of each year for the view of what the future is coming true and the margin of error allows us to endure a range of potential. The most important details of the phrase's plan, margin, error, time, and risk are that it is important to take risk to move forward and protect yourself from potential losses. The margin of error can help you plan for all risks and protect against them by avoiding single points of failure. This can help ensure that you stay on one paycheck to fund short-term spending needs with no savings so that you are only one point of failure with money. The most important details of the phrase's plan, time, financial plans, future expenses are that long-term planning is essential to ensure the future is not too difficult to achieve. 
It is important to plan ahead and make smart decisions at every stage of life, as these decisions can have a profound influence on the lives of the people we are going to become and will shape our future. Long-term financial planning is hard to make without considering the changes that occur over time, as people's goals and desires may change. Middle-aged adults have worked hard to gain back and are often walking around with an illusion that their personal history has just come to an end. This can have a long-term impact on their financial plan, but it is important to avoid the extreme ends of financial planning. To make up for lost time, one should plan years or decades to grow this plan, not only for savings, but also for careers and relationships. Balance is key to avoiding future regrets and encouraging endurance aim at each stage of life. The most important details to consider when it comes to Social Security are moderate annual savings, moderate free time, and moderate commute time with family. To avoid extreme sides of the spectrum, it is important to accept the reality of changing our minds and stick to a plan. People who stay loyal to a certain field of study may be more likely to pursue a career despite the odds of picking a job when they are old enough to qualify for Social Security. It is also important to remember that the financial goals set when one is different should be abandoned rather than put on life support and dragged down, and that everything has a price, not all of which is the same price. The most important details of the phrase's time in this text are that it is difficult to maintain a long-term perspective when stocks collapse, as the price of success in investing is not immediately obvious, and it is important to make decisions that go ahead and avoid fines, traffic tickets, and IRS fines that are necessary to avoid future fines. This is because people are generally okay with paying fees, but they should be punished for their wrongdoings. The author also considers this fall to be a fine if the wealth of someone looking their wealth is declining. General Electric was the largest company in the world in 2004 worth one-third of a trillion dollars and had been the first or second of each year for the decade. However, the 2008 financial crisis caused the company to collapse in chaos and the subsequent bets on oil and energy were disasters, resulting in billions in corporate shares falling from in 2007 to $7 in 2018. The blame on CEO C.E. Cooper, who has run the company since 2001, was criticized for his leadership and resigned in 2017. In response, Cooper said that his successor, Manuel E. McDonald, was the great teacher for delivering quarterly earnings per share and, if Wall Street investors expected 25 cents per share, Jack would deliver 26 cents regardless of the status of business or the economy, he would do it by massaging the numbers to make the obedient numbers greet their master. <laughs>